sorry about the weird cut. Get back into it, eh? Well, it's not from me, it's from, uh... From Bo? <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our family is wow, sort of stuck in the dark ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. <laughs> but if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are... are... There's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. I, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Need a boat, eh? Do we need a boat? What was on it? Nothing. Stand up. Wow. Take a long time to stand up, son. Okay. Maintain. It's not that bad. Darius. <coughs> right. Did I increase? Oh, cool. Okay. Um, so my stamina is way down now. So, what's really good for stamina? Kidney beans are good for stamina, okay. Alright, that might have to do. I 
I think I'll leave the boat for now. At least I know where there is one. So I don't know. I can't remember whether it said at camp that I have to steal a boat or that we had found one already. So I'm allowed to use weapons on this property. It's not the greys, so we're on the greys side. Try that other building. Over there. <laughs> I'm keen, I'm so keen to like try and get through the house. Imagine being able to fucking go to the house and steal heaps of shit.
Let's see. There's another one over there. Oh, yeah, you let me go. That's interesting. was able to get in that house anyway. So I've been seen though. So the mission was to get through without being seen. So I failed the mission. Well, who cares, right? <laughs> Is that that's our camp? Man, so there's a boat here, so I could just go straight up if I had to. Okay, so okay, I'm sure I, I might as well get that done. I might as well get that over and done with. Now I can go back to the sheriff's office. So, let's see if I can stroll straight on to the Gray's property then. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. Uh. Uh, I can't be bothered. Here. Thank you, <laughs> thank you Martha. Your How much did I get? Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Round here, they don't even like men voting. 
Could bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family. We've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Twelve bucks. Sweet. Penelope's letter. Yeah, oh, what is this now? Oh, what? Am I supposed to follow him? Yeah, okay. Come on, come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. All good. Bo, you know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Most of my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Oh, oh, no. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. Yes. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. <coughs> Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a <laughs> protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? All right. <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch the water. Singing songs of freedom now, and glory. Now. Be. Take us down Main Street, Everyone right through town to the steps of the bank of roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. We sing for suffrage for women to be free. A ballot for the lady, a vote for you and me. This is our cry of freedom. Our power is not small. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun, and maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Uh, 
Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. We have those there. Take us just a little further, please. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equal. Equal? Oh. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Yeah. Mm. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. Ah. Ah. You try, you try. Oh. Oh. His philosophy hey. dependent on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. <laughs> you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. <laughs> Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, oh you always will. Bo, why don't we just leave him? So proud. Oh, well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? <gasps> Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. A land of equality. A land of progress. Look at the beautiful land we have built. But you don't want to go back and hear the speeches? Getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't, right? You know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but you should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, <laughs> you made a joke. <laughs> I really love her. Look at that stack of cash. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Awesome. More money. Thirty dollars. What? Why is it only bronze? Oh man, time frames crazy. So 
so why did we come out here? Alright, back to the sheriff's office then. Idiot! What if I need to take off this um, coat? I won't do that. Where's the general store? Sheriff's office. Hotel. General store. Oh, hey, friend, remember me? We met before. I can swear. Oh yeah. The one that found me. This fella? You let him suck on your leg! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, my whole life. No lie. But, uh, let, let me buy you something from the store. Whatever you want, it's on me. <laughs> Choice to okay. claim the single free Shit. item. Go Have to the Rhodes General the Store have. now. It's the least a humble man can do. Well, thank you, Sam. What can I do for you? The uh, guy with the snake bite says I can put some here on his tab. That fool? Jesus. If it's not one thing, it's another with him. But he pays his oath, so who am I to argue? Let me know what you choose. I'll add it to his list. Can I get a bit of fishing rod? Nah, okay. Uh, uh, coats. I think they'll be more expensive than a hat. Twenty dollar. I'm thinking of another vest. Um, ah, uh, another waist jacket. Uh, only twenty bucks. Okay. I think their hats were a bit more expensive than that. Oh yeah, 20 bucks as well. Okay, oh, he can pay for my hat then. Can I view it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that's interesting. Not bad. What does the other one look like? What's the other one I was gonna... Panama hat, I'm sure that's one I've already got. Wasn't there another one? I was thinking that one, but that looks a bit weird. Yeah, no, I don't like that one. Um, the stalker hat. Something radical there.
I'll let him know. You're paying next time, though. <laughs> uh, so, I brought a bit of everything, didn't I? Yeah. Yep. Uh, so that's fine. Bought me a new hat. Cool as. Now, should I have sold some stuff? Should probably have a quick look while I'm here. First time here, I think. The store is pretty self-explanatory. Feel free to browse goods and sundries on the shelves. Or there's a full range in the catalog right here. Okay. Better not be stolen, all right? Okay, I'll take it. Yep, I'll buy that. Uh huh. I'll keep one hair pomade. So I've got three of them. I want to try and start using them. Oh yeah, some gin for dead eye. What do that then? So it's either bourbon or gin. I might use the joke. Trouble at the woolen mill down the way there. Seems there are many good folks without enemies these days. That's it? Okay, sweet. Been a pleasure doing business with you. It's all good. Come again. <coughs> I'll keep one of most things. This way. Come on. Blood bath and Valentine. Read all about it. Look at that horse. What a beast. Has he got shoes on? Search or something goes towards. Of course, of animal. course. Oh, and here is my dear friend Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mister. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. Huh? Whoa. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? What? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. 
I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. Back you as well. are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. So I can't, am I gonna get paid regularly? Arthur, what, am I gonna get a salary? Or a wage? Climb on up. Let's go. What the hell? Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be Sam just Morty. fine. Sure. Choice. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. Yeah. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Where they got it for me. You could try washing once in a while. Keep your eyes open. This must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up.
dangerous business, the life of a lawman, isn't it? Appears so. I'm just glad we got Archibald here to show us the ropes. <laughs> Would you mind taking the reins? I want oh, to have what? a look at these papers. Sure. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellas in my experience. Go right at the crossroads. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. They're right again here. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Would drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. I handle this. Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the right. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them, a fine idea. Us. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. the rider and I'll round him up later. Get the other one. So I wonder if I can learn how to knock people out instead now. I can't remember whether I was able to do that. Gather them up. Just drop 
I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. So, tell me about the... <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Anywhere? I guess so. Oh my god! It's a short fuse. <laughs> Sit to plant it. Easy. Dead eyes used up, eh? No way. Did Bill die?
God. Okay. <sighs> Fuck sakes. Too greedy. <laughs> First things first. Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Come on, let's go. Go, go, go. Well, at least he loots relatively quickly, considering how much we get.
guys. Starting to get the swing of things. Boom. Alright guys, thanks well for watching. <laughs> I'll end it soon. Well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah. Seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just <laughs> take a jug or two Choice. and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster. He used to say some of us is not as American as others. If you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Also, awesome. you ride with me. Okay. All right, guys. Catch you on the other side, eh? Yes. Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble. Go back there, Arthur. Ain't there always?